video is going to be on um, selling out. And at this moment, I feel like a pretty big sellout, at least. So there's this um, program that's going that's been passed in the law. It's already been passed in the law, and it hasn't. There's no way to do it yet. You can't you can't apply for it yet, but it's going to happen by the end of July. It's called Cash for Clunkers. Now, basically, here's how it works. What happens is you uh, apply to the government for a voucher. And the voucher basically says that um, if you get a car with so many miles per gallon, more than your previous car, then you will get um, uh, like 4500 3500 you know, uh, check voucher that you can use as a trade-in for your next new car. You can only use it towards a new car, too. And if you do this, you know, that 4500 is way more than I'll get for my car, and... My car probably is going to need some serious repairs pretty soon here, so it's a really good deal for me to get rid of it now. The thing, though, is that I'm a libertarian, and I can see that this is a broken window fallacy. I mean, if you really think about it, in the end, this is here to see with the economy. But in actuality, it's a waste. And here's how I'll demonstrate it. Here's the broken window fallacy. Basically, think of a child in a scenario. He throws a rock at a window and breaks it. And then the shop owner has to go get a new window. So he uh, pays a glasser, he pays, you know, whatever people who do who make windows, he pays all of them to make a window and install it. And in the process, he's stealing the economy. He gave work to all those people who had to make that window. So is the boy, does the boy deserve a slap on the wrist or does he deserve a medal for stimulating the economy? And if you think about it, that doesn't seem right. You know, he did stimulate the economy, but he did he really do anything good? The truth is that, in the end, the shopkeeper could use that money to buy new shoes, to invest in his business, to invest in someone else's business. Um, he might be in debt. He, you know, could use that money in a much more profitable way. In the end, even if he does things the economy, you still waste the resources on the window. So, though it looks like it's stimulating the economy, you're actually waste, being wasteful. And that's the same deal here. It looks like you're stealing the economy by buying new cars, etc. But in the end, really what you're doing is throwing away this old car that still works, and my car does work, and I'm getting a new car. But in the end, I'm just throwing away good parts. And I'm not sure, and they got to reprocess and go through it and remake it. And I don't think there's any kind of benefit to this. I think this is almost going to certainly hurt the company that's going to be getting a trade in. Because they think they can sell this for $3,000. In the end, they're going to be losing $1,500 more than that at tops and by selling me a new car. And then they're going to have no car to trade back and get the money back. They're going to scrap it and make it back from scratch. It's really going to hurt them in the long run. I, I don't know why, why they would have passed something like this. It seems like it's almost certainly going to hurt us in the long run. Now, here's the question, though. Why am I doing it? I mean, I know it's a broken window policy, but I'm doing it. And for that matter, I'm doing it because I'm being particularly selfish and saying, well, I need to get rid of it. <laughs> I've been trying to sell it for a while, and I'm, I'm not convinced I couldn't sell it, but it's not worth the trouble, and I can get more from trading for a voucher than I can selling it. So I'm kind of convinced that I need to, need to do this. So... It just feels like, you know, well, I don't see I'm a hypocrite. Obviously, I see it's a fallacy. I see it's not going to be beneficial to the economy. But I'm doing it anyways. I'm just taking advantage of the system. Is this, this is obviously hypocritical. This is obviously hypocritical. The question is, am I selling my soul for a car? And I'm not so certain I'm not. So, that's my question to you. Am I selling my soul for a car? I'm obviously a hypocrite, but... You know, is it is it wrong to take advantage of a system you don't agree with? I mean, I suppose that I don't really agree with our criminal system, but that wouldn't stop me from going to court. But is that just a necessity? This is not a necessity. This is a voluntary action. I don't need to do this. I could sell it the way I'm supposed to sell it, but I'm turning into the government because I'm a cheap college student. I don't know. I, mean, I guess if I had enough money, I wouldn't bother with it. I'd say, I don't need that. I don't need to screw up with a dealer, but I... 
don't have very much money to spend, and this is a really good deal to get a new car, which I would like, and I've always complained about my, my car doesn't get enough miles to the gallon. This would absolve a, you know, issue. So, you know, am I selling my soul for a car? All right. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.